Hi, this is Cheryl Araxis Three Productions, and I would like to speak today a little bit about the violin. Uh, I brought some notes with me just so I can remember everything that I want to tell you. Uh, the violin, or vitula, as as it is known in Latin, is um, an extraordinary instrument which creates beautiful tones close to the human voice. Its range can extend up to four octaves and possibly greater, which is incredible. Uh, the strings of a violin, which generally are four, which can be, or can be five, or, or other, the strings of a violin are tuned in fifths and are G, D, A, and E. The violin is also a mysterious instrument. Um, each instrument uh, that is made is unique and individual, uh, having a personality of its own. The quality of a violin can range from poor all the way up to professional and concert level instruments which sell for millions and millions at auction and are contained in museums. Sound quality can depend upon a lot of things, uh, most importantly tone woods. And I once read that uh, tone woods, the best tone woods come from trees which are slow growing with uh, the rings very close together. Also, um, the sound quality depends on know-how, method of craft, and, and the varnishes used in making the instruments. The violin as we know it was developed around the 16th century and incurred further modification uh, in the 18th century. Uh, violin making reached its heights in Cremona, Italy where Amati was born. He was a world famous uh, violin maker and uh, he founded his famous school there in Cremona, Italy where he was born. Uh, the old masters developed supreme techniques and know-how for uh, crafting their instruments and uh, many of the nobility were uh, obsessed with these uh, instruments, uh, particularly Charles IX had a number of instruments made for him by Amati. Uh, early on, uh, nobility and also uh, street musicians uh, had an interest for these uh, instruments. Um, Violins were uh, very popular at the time, and uh, the, old ma uh, the old masters uh, developed uh, supreme techniques and uh, also varnishes which uh, enabled their violins to uh, sound absolutely incredible. And um, sadly, uh, violin making went into decline uh, simply because of uh, politics and uh, the economics of the region. Um, and uh, with this uh, decline, sadly, a lot of the secrets and the varnishes uh, went with it. Uh, I would, on the next video, I would like to uh, discuss maintenance and also uh, the parts of the violin. Thank you. Hi, this is Cheryl Araxis Three Productions. And uh, I would like to uh, discuss the parts of the violin and its maintenance. Uh, this is the scroll of the violin. Here you see the scroll. This is the neck of the violin. The fingerboard, which is ebony, extends from, from the nut all the way down let me turn the violin around here we have uh, the upper bouts and the lower bouts 
the F holes, which allow the sound to escape, and the bridge. The strings and the tailpiece of the violin. The chin rest and the button on the end which holds, which um, is connected to the tail gut around it and to the tailpiece. The back of the violin and I, I don't know if I forgot to mention the chin rest just in case I didn't mention this, the chin rest but uh, Inside of the violin, there is something called the sound post, which is very, very crucial for the operation of the violin. And the violin works very well when everything is in tune and in resonance. Resonance is very important. It allows all of the violin to uh, sing in unison. Uh, the humidity at which uh, the violin is best kept is um, around 40 to 60 percent and uh, the temperature around uh, let's say 70 degrees. And uh, I would imagine that uh, that's just general. Uh, every violin is different. Uh, each violin has a different stability and uh, window of operation. Uh, window of operation to which it uh, best works. But generally, uh, those are the conditions, uh, 40 to 60 percent humidity and um, let's say 45 percent, 50 percent humidity uh, and 70 degree temperature. Any less than uh, that or temperatures that are very high, humidity that is uh, very low uh, will cause the instrument crack or split open where there are, are seams. So it's not very good for an instrument to uh, become extremely dry uh, or uh, its temperature to become extremely high because uh, the wood does contain a certain amount of moisture and also absorbs a certain amount of moisture. Uh, oh, I forgot the pegs. This is the peg and also the peg box where the scroll is. Um, I hope I have been uh, accurate uh, in my video. Uh, if not, I apologize for uh, any in inaccuracies, but uh, I think it uh, has been um, accurate. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed what I presented to you. Uh, this is Cheryl Araxis, Three Productions. Have a great day.